my name is Fate Lighter, and welcome to Jindo the Godbreaker. Jindo is the last boss in the five-man heroic Zul'Gurb instance implemented in patch 4.1. The item level to enter this instance is 346, and many people have been complaining it is relatively steep. However, if you've made it this far in the instance, you're probably going to be okay killing Jindo, despite the fact that he is indeed the hardest boss in here. Jindo's first ability of note are the anti-magic zones he places on the floor. For those of you who don't have a brain, they are the green orbs. Pretty much, the aim of this phase is to keep yourself inside when Jindo casts, and to keep him out for as long as possible to prevent any of your damage going to waste. The idea is to keep repeating this, avoiding his damage attack that you can see there, whilst keeping the rest of the raid alive and keeping aggro on Jindo on the tank. This is relatively simple, and not many people wipe here. In Phase 2, Jindo will turn into his Godbreaker mode, and three chains called Hakar's Chains will spawn on the field. This is the most complicated phase of play, and will require each of your team to know exactly what they're doing. Your tank in this zone has to pick up the spirits from the platforms below, and tank them close enough to a chain. Meanwhile, your DPS will have to stand at each of the chains, one on each chain. Then, when the spirit that your tank is tanking decides to charge, it will land on top of one of the shields, smashing it. This will then allow your DPS to switch and DPS the chains, which is the ultimate goal of this encounter. Meanwhile, spirits, as you can see on the screen now, will be continuously spawning, trying to attack your healer, who will no doubt be the only person generating enough threat against them for them to attack. Another obstacle you have to watch out for here are the white zones on the floor that are puffing outwards. These are a miniature void zone and must be avoided as they do severe damage to anyone inside them. They're relatively easy to spot providing you have your particle density and spell detail levels high enough. The encounter pretty much revolves around your tank tanking the spirit and your DPS knowing to stand on the chains. After all the shields have been broken on the chains, Jindo himself will automatically die. However, getting that far and keeping yourself alive will the DPS do enough damage to both take down the spirits, take down the chains, and take down anything that's attacking the healer, whilst avoiding the void zones makes this encounter one of the most difficult in-game at the moment. The rest of the fight is pretty much a repeat of that. All you have to do is make sure your DPS are stood on the right places on the chains, allowing the shields guarding them to be broken. Once the shields are broken, the DPS can then switch to killing the chains, and the fight is pretty much over from there. If your healer can manage to keep the rest of the group up, and you have three DPS, your tank, and your healer alive as you go into this final phase, there should be no problem whatsoever. You may need to burn a few cooldowns, depending on the gear of everyone involved, but we were lucky in the random group finder this time. Myself and Melix, my druid healer partner, got an excellent group, which DPS totaled more than enough to destroy Jindo and the adds quickly enough. As you can see here, the moment the last chain is destroyed, avoiding the void zones of course, Jindo dies and the instance is over. I've been Fate Lighter and I will be uploading some more videos at the time. Feel free to subscribe, or if failing that, sign up on Twitter. Just search Fate Lighter and keep up to date.